Hey guys and girls, and thank you for watching another episode of the Xbox Tester. My name is Maurice. Today we're getting a look at Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty, slash the 2.01 update. And um, let's just dive in. First of all, let's see how much data this is, and that's 97.9 GB. The game's not on Game Pass. Uh, you can buy it. I think it. Last week it was pretty cheap, and now it's the old price again. It's on sale every month. So, yeah, wait for a good sale. The game is Gen 9, Gen Scarlet. It's actually one of the better optimized games on the new gen consoles, especially for a big game like this. It's, mwah, mm, yeah, really good. The new DLC is uh, called Phantom Liberty. I'm not completely sure how much it is. I think it's like 20 euros or something 29 29 i think it is if i'm correct yeah 29.99 and it's worth it <laughs> without a doubt so if you already own cyberpunk 2077 you want more you will get it you guys if you like this kind of content don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it means a lot for me you're really helping out the channel you can also hit the bell icon I upload almost on a daily basis. New games, old games, updates on games. Sometimes even a little bit of hardware here and there. So, you can already hear I'm still yeah, recovering from a, uh, from a cold. And uh, so I'm talking not that loud. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. This is what happens when you come to my place. They will eat you alive. Really big, big, big mean dogs that I have. No, <laughs> they're really small. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the 2.0. Uh, oh, so it's uh, the 2.01 uh, update fleshed out a lot of little uh, mistakes that were still in the game so with the 2.0 update we did got some little things that could be better but yeah it's 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 good now it's it's perfectly fine um let's continue by the way big shout out to the people at cd project for sending me a key to the dlc so i could test it out i've already been playing it a couple of hours already so I am already in like the big open world city of uh, the game. And yeah, love it. Really, really, really love it. Curious as I am. We got an Hey Keanu. How are you doing, buddy? But look oh, at this. Shit. Yeah, right now I've got a little bit of... Uh... Go on. Give me back my vision. Head to Captain Caliente. Really, really, really amazing. Okay. Um, The game has a few graphical options. I'm going to do a few of these off. Off off and i'm playing on performance so yeah you can see it right here it gives you a uh, 1080 dynamic resolution scaling up to 1080p so it uses stuff like fsr2 um, quality mode provides a better quality at 30 fps dynamic resolution scaling up to 1440p so it's pretty straightforward so this is 1080p and it looks amazing the only problem I have is that there are, with the new update and with the new DLC, you definitely get to see some uh, frame drops here and there. It's not a lie. It's not a. We finally get to meet in person. I can say neither yes nor no. I'm gonna take the bike. Answer. I have new work for you. I hope you'll accept. That said, look at this. This is on a 249 console. 
I suspect if they can make this game run at 60 FPS on a Series S, I don't want to hear any developer complaining anymore about call uh, uh, about the Series S because if you can't make your game run on the Series S, you're probably not a really good developer. If they can do it, take some pride. That's what I always say. You know, back in the day, they really took pride in uh, optimizing these games for new gen consoles. This these days, some of them can actually only uh, complain about the fact it's a little bit too hard for them to. Uh, to make the game but yeah, you can definitely feel that there are some frame drops now. and it's only with the new since the new dlc before that it was actually quite nice so there's still some work to be done i don't know what they did you know it's already a miracle that we can play this game at 60 fps on the series s and if you have a monitor RTV that supports VRR, you won't even see it. Here we go. I've already played this part of the game, so... Wanted to give you a little bit of an idea what to expect from this new world. Look at this. This is... I can't get my head around it. It's insane. Man, fuck the Enter Captain Caliente. Captain Caliente. Guy clearly went down at this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Here we go. Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. Zero nine three one. Zero nine three one. Hey, Keanu. Keanu Reeves. I'll have a double cheeseburg while you're at it. Uh, anyone there? Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flopped the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? Call me V. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Is that Idris Elba? Not exactly voices, <laughs> our man of mystery. How cool is that? I just prefer text. Damn sure I do. You know what would be cool if they ever will do a um, live action cyberpunk movie? They should uh, should ask hey, Yano Reeves to play a uh, Johnny Silver. Okay, that was a stupid, stupid joke, I know. And for part two, they should ask Idris Elba. <laughs> Let's see. Wee. Um, I'm gonna play it in 30 FPS mode. Quality. And this is definitely a step up in resolu in terms of graphics and resolution, without a doubt. A big step, even. You can see that immediately, without any hesitation. It also has 
like a few new uh, radio uh, channels. By the way, sadly, I can't let you hear them. YouTube really doesn't like it when you use uh, official music. Yeah, look at this. My goodness. Maybe if I use motion blur a little bit. On. You know, let's put it all on. On 30 FPS, that's that's okay. But your film grain, yeah, it looks really smeared out. Pretty sure the tube said daytime. With all these filters, I'm not a fan of it. I know some people like it, I'm not one of them. It's one big blur. Gonna be a I'm gonna skip ahead. You know, another I don't want to spoil that much for you guys. So, one thing I did. Every grunt gets a rifle, flag jacket. Except getting shelled in your dugout. The moment you. Gotta face you. Didn't act. Pop. Don't do <laughs> Got this. Keep. No, come on. Rock. I need the god up. Let's see. That. Are you fine? Take. We're fine. Black door. That. Already. Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. Ready to find Wow, out. that's blurry. Yeah, give me 60 FPS uh mode. There's one big blur. Nah, no. This is not how I want to play this. Performance mode is the way to go. Film grain off, chromatic matter uh, off, off, off. Lens flare is okay. Oh! My goodness, that's so much better. Black Thornton. Not even funny how much better that is. Get in. Love that car, by the way. Look at all the details. Even the stitching in the in the steering wheel, everything. Definitely one of my favorite actors of all time, Idris Elba. That guy is like a force of nature if you see him in a movie. Before we go. I would love to see. I would have loved seeing him as James Bond. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the back. He would be the perfect James Bond. Ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too. And I stay with that fact. Since Pacific Rim, I thought, yeah. You're a badass. Actually, I am though. And even a lot of movies and 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 uh, uh, what's it called, Lupin? It's amazing. This guy is a freaking legend. No, let's go. I want to have some action. Let's get up. Uh, Dogtown. Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Actually. Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Say, a derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. 
Why you calling me on my day off? It's so Ask impressive how this looks. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncer. <laughs> That's your lilo gig? A bouncer? It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to the government pay. Not even under the table. This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? We have company. It's, uh oh. Damn it, Hans's goons! That's not a good sign. Here we go! That's more like it. I think we got him. But yeah, you guys, this is Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty 2.01 on the Xbox Series S. And uh, yeah, it's a must-have, a must-play game. It's it's the it's one of the games of this generation. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun. Hope to see you guys soon. In and out. Bye.